Hello again, this is Metamarx, and, or Marxist, whichever you prefer, and this is a game from Crazy Viking Studios, which is a, a newer game called Volgar the Viking. Rise and there's Odin telling us to go do something, good old one-eyed Odin. This is a, a game that's a lot like Ghosts and Goblins, or Ninja Gaiden, I would say, from the NES generation. It's seeking to be a return to the good old days of gaming when things weren't quite so easy and I will tell you this game is very hard and it feels sometimes like a trial and error sort of thing where every time you reach a new segment you die. I played a little bit before I made this video which to be honest the main reason I'm making this video is to test out new recording software which I happen to like quite a bit. You see there, I almost died, or got hit at least. The way health works in this game is you can only take one hit before you die. Now, in chests, you find various items, shields, helmet, sword, and those things will give you a little added durability. And enemies will occasionally drop treasure. I imagine that's just a uh, score mechanic. And the variety of enemies is pretty good here. You've also got a charge-up attack, sort of like what Link can do in the Legend of Zelda series. You charge up your javelin or spear and toss it. You can also throw your spears into things and make little, little stands for you. You have a double jump too, and the double jump also doubles as an attack. So it gives you a couple options. You can attack in basically six directions or in 360 in that way. So that's kind of nice and solves a lot of the problems of older NES games. And here you see the fully upgraded Viking set. You got your horned helmet, Thor's shield, and a nice flaming sword. One thing I've noticed about the flaming sword is that it makes you a little bit heavier, it feels like. So you don't jump nearly as effectively. And then here, I'm gonna... Those spiders can jump, and they sometimes jump unpredictably. But you can see here I'm not a true platforming player, because I have a phenomena that impedes me that I like to call banana feet. And I had an instance of banana feet there that was pretty bad. It cost me my, my helmet and my sword. If you've got the sword and you take damage, you lose the sword and the helmet. So rather tragic. We'll get our helmet back right here. And if you pick up the helmet and anything happens to be in that lightning bolt, then it'll die. You've also got these weird plant things that shoot out balls, so it's it's got a little bit of all the old platforming fighting games, uh, along with some other cool things like the javelins giving you little steps and it gives you a lot of viability for finding hidden areas and, and things like that and the level design is pretty cool and I really like the art style although Vikings didn't actually wear helmets that had horns on them those were those were Danes uh, that were prior to the whole Viking age and you'll see some banana feet here because I accidentally held forward so there goes my helmet but luckily we get it right back so, I'll only die if I get hit and lose my helmet and shield. So, collect some more loots here. So far, this run's actually going pretty good. Uh, which is kind of rare. And each time you see one of these crystals, that's sort of like a save area. So, if I were to die, I would start again at that crystal. And you can climb up these ropes here. They've also got a series of traps in the form of these arrow thingies. So I gotta watch out for that. And we'll get our, our flaming sword. I'm not a big fan of the flaming sword. It's nice to have the damage, but I can't... It feels really funny to me the way that you move when you've got it. So I tend to banana feet really bad and slide into things that I don't mean to. And the bees, every time I see bees in one of these games, I immediately think of Donkey Kong Country. Especially some levels in the ice area, where I swore as a child that I'd never, I would never replay once I beat them. And these red guys have a lot of armor, and I'm banana feeding really bad. Oh, no. 
So now I'm in panic mode and I get really lucky. Uh, so the... If you hold down attack, he'll hold his sword up and that defeats uh, enemies that jump on you. And we get a shield again, so I'm not... I'm at two hit points, basically. And then we'll hop up here. You see the little red arrow faces. There are a lot of little sort of miniature puzzles to do with these. And now we're into the next segment. And this, I hadn't really done this before. And so you can start to see the, uh, the trial and error in nature, along with my own being really terrible at platformers coming into play. And so there we've lost our shield. One, one more hit point. And now I'm in panic mode. Panic. Okay, calming down. Oh, banana feet. Panicking, panicking. Banana feet and dead. <laughs> so there's our first death. And we start all the way back here. And uh, to su spare you, we'll move forward. Now we're back to this part again, and I'm in the exact same situation. I My banana feet got the better of me a couple times, so... We're back here, got our shield, trying not to screw this up. The, the enemies do have predictable patterns, and there I, uh, I show that I can't use a keyboard. And I put my face into one of the spawn of your monger's toes. So I've got my full stack, we're coming up here again, and I think I've sort of figured it out. So if my banana feet and my own terribleness at platformers, especially with a keyboard, don't come into play, we might get to progress a bit in this game. The red guy doesn't behave as I thought, and then I show that I'm terrible and have no control over my guy. So, trying not to die, panicking a little. Okay, less panic now. Less banana feet. I'm, I'm sure that I can get on that little platform, but I, I guess you can't. At least I can't. So, we're just gonna say forget about it over here almost screw up and let those two guys kill me got a little greedy there cost me my helmet run 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 okay so now I see we'll get our helmet back at least over here use a little spear get the helmet oh yeah we're in full Viking mode again and there's a bee oh and an arrow goodbye helmet we hardly knew ye Okay, sneak under here. You can do a little roll move. I'm reasonably sure that I have not fully explored the uses of the roll. Oh! I, uh... That's pretty terrible. So yeah, if you're too close and you try to throw a spear into the wall, it breaks. So there we go. But, yeah, I, I tend to panic a lot, especially because I've never been to this part of the game before. So... Okay, use those. And you see that the, the javelin or spears in the wall block these poisonous balls or whatever. And now all I have to do is manage to get on the rope. Okay, okay, get on the rope there. There we go. Okay, just wait on the poison gas and walk up here. Oh, God! I didn't even, I did not even see that. So here we are again. And I didn't even, I didn't even remember about that. Panic, panic, uh, I'm dead. Okay, eight deaths. We're gonna, gonna try and get ourselves together here. Finish this. Okay, block the things. Okay, fall to the ground. Climb up the rope. Okay, wait on the gas. Okay, maybe I'm just gonna try and get past this arrow here. I think that'll work. Oh, no. Okay, fall down. Panic. Don't panic. Panic. Okay. Fall down. We're just gonna wait. Ah, uh, I walked into the gas! Okay. It's ten deaths. No big deal. I'm gonna try this. We're just gonna get past this arrow. That's all we're gonna do. And there's treasure there. I kinda want that. But we'll, we'll see what we can do up here. Okay, try and time this right. Oh, I, okay. Get a little closer. Ah, I jumped into the arrow. Alright. We're gonna beat this level. I wanna beat this level. Recording software in tow. Okay. 
So I know the secret thingy is probably over to the right here. Bypass this gas stuff. Kill the bee. Okay, let's go. Make a break for it. I don't have any shields or anything. So one hit, I'm dead. Okay, kill that thing. Kill those spiders. I really hate the spiders in this game. Not a design flaw. It's just... I have a really difficult time telling what they're doing or going to do. So they, they threaten me greatly, and uh, I try to kill them. Okay, sneak under these arrows. It'll be okay. Get my shield and my little harp. Yeah! I also love the soundtrack in this game. They did Adult Swim Games slash Crazy Viking Studios. Did a really good job with the soundtrack. I did the same thing again! Uh, Mario. It's been like 20 years since I've played Mario, so... Oh no, arrows! Okay, shield save me. Okay. Aw, oh, this is just like Donkey Kong. There's a bee guarding the rope I need to get on. Okay, let's... Nah, I can't. I can't get it. Okay. Other strats. Get out of the way, bee. Go away. Oh, there. He's mad. Okay, we can get him now. Okay. Now all we have to do is get on the rope. All right. Oh, a sneaky snake. We'll just, we'll wait on Mr. Sneaky Snake. Okay. All right, blue guy, blue guy takes two hits. Green guy takes one hit. I also manipulate my hitboxes by crouching because they are like old NES players where certain things, hitboxes are just unhittable. Okay, that door, I don't know about. Oh, uh, okay. So that's your monger, the world serpent. So this is probably a boss. Yeah, it looks like a boss. Oh, great. Okay. Ah! One hit point against the boss. All right. Let's just chop this guy. He's pretty... Oh, no. I can't get out of the jump. Well, that pretty much shows you what this game is all about. So check it out if you're, if you're an old curmudgeon man like myself.